Introduction. Host, H. Welcome, everyone, to our educational video on the brachial plexus. In this demonstration, we'll explore the amazing network of nerves responsible for the movement and sensation of our upper limbs. Scene 1. Anatomy of the brachial plexus, H. Before we get into the details, let's understand the anatomy of the brachial plexus. It is a complex network of nerves that originates from the spinal cord in the neck region and extends into the arm. It supplies motor and sensory innervation to the shoulder, arm, forearm, and hand. Display a 3D model of the brachial plexus, H. As you can see, the brachial plexus consists of five primary nerves. The roots, C5-T1, trunks, upper, middle, lower, divisions, anterior, posterior, cords, lateral, medial, posterior, and branches. Various nerves that go to specific muscles and areas of the arm. Scene 2. Nerve function and innervation. H. Now, let's explore how the brachial plexus innervates different muscles and areas of the arm. We'll start with the roots. Display the roots of the brachial plexus on the screen. H. The nerve roots C5 to T1 give rise to the five primary nerves of the brachial plexus. For instance, the C5 and C6 roots combine to form the upper trunk, which innervates muscles like the deltoid and biceps. Show animations of muscle movements triggered by the brachial plexus nerves, H. When the deltoid contracts, it allows for shoulder abduction, while the biceps muscle enables elbow flexion. It's fascinating how these nerves work together to give us precise control over arm movements. Scene 3. Clinical Relevance in Injuries, H. Now, let's discuss the clinical relevance of the brachial plexus and its injuries. Show an illustration of a brachial plexus injury, H. Injuries to the brachial plexus can occur due to trauma, accidents, or medical conditions. A common condition is Herb's palsy, which affects the upper brachial plexus and can result in weakness or paralysis of the arm. Thanks for watching, 